Hello, my wonderful students. In today's demonstration, I am going to show you how you can use paint in some different parts of your body to make an artwork like this. Believe it or not, I made this using the palms of my hand on the bottom, my nose, my thumbs, my chin and beard, and just my beard. Now I realize that some, or possibly all of you, are beard free, but there is some potential for using your chin even if you aren't as fuzzy as Mr. Germain is. Okay, now there are two different ways that you can use paint and yourself as a stamp to make art. You can use an additive approach where you just add paint and that's it, or you can use a subtractive approach where you add paint and then take some of the paint away. First I'm going to show you how I would go about just using doing additive. The trick is, like when you normally use stamps, you want to push down and pull your finger away. Push down and pull your finger away. You don't want to just wave your finger around. That's conventionally how finger painting is viewed. And then as you're doing it, there's less paint on your finger, then more of the well, more of the cardboard shows through, and you can get a great variety of values, all the same color. So that's just my index finger. Another way of doing it is if you wanted to use your palm, which is a bit messier, so I'll take my ring off. It helps if you have a plate to dip your hand into. And if you, holding your fingers up, you just push your palm down. So we cover fingertips, palms, and the, la uh, and the second to last. And the final one is the nose. Now it helps if you get a bit on your nose like this, and then you approach it sort of like you're a drinking bird. You tap your nose down and pull it away. Usually the first one will be too thick, but as you keep on doing it, you get a great variety of shapes that I think are fairly unique. The last option is the beard or chin. And again, see, dip your chin, and <laughs> you down. Take it away, as usual, it's too much on the first one. The trick, as always, is to push down, firmly down, and pull up. Keep on doing that, and you can overlap them. And then what's great about having a beard, which I doubt many of you have, is you can sort of use your beard like a brush, and if you just lightly tap, on the surface, you can get a dabble effect like that. For this process, it helps if you use two hands. You have a hand where you add the paint on thickly by dabbing it on. And then what you do is you use your other hand to take it away. If you didn't want to include it on the side of the work, like with this, then you could have a separate piece that you would then be doing your thumbprints on. You can also do this approach with your palm and your nose, though it seems to work best if you use your fingers so you can see what you're doing. wanted to do your nose. It's just a little tricky to see what you're doing. And that's basically how you do additive and subtractive. 